Project Literacy Lab is your baby, isn't it? Tell yeah. us a bit more about it. Well, two years ago we were really thinking, what should we focus on? And we looked across a pretty crowded space in lots of areas, and we focused on literacy for really one key reason. We saw that it was 758 million people today don't have basic literacy skills. But what really fixated me was that over the last 10 years, despite a huge amount of great work in the space, that number wasn't moving. And that's what really made us think, as a learning company, that we had an opportunity where we could make a difference. So uh, that's Project Literacy. Tell us about the Project Literacy Lab. So the lab um, is an accelerator um, with the view of focusing on how do we tackle literacy. And it's bringing together 16 entrepreneurs who are all working on very different global challenges but all of them with a commitment to tackle illiteracy. They really are super diverse, and some of them are very focused on, as you'd expect, direct education interventions. But what's interesting is we also have companies like Afropads, for example, that is totally focused on sanitary protection. And you know, the reality is that one in 10 girls in Africa today are dropping out of school because of the issue that they don't have access to sanitary pads because it's regarded as a luxury Which is and not a necessity. Isn't it? it's yeah, it's unbelievable. So um, what's the future for Project Literacy Lab? So I mean our commitment to these entrepreneurs is to continue to work with them, you know, and that's a mix of mentoring and coaching and hopefully also connecting them with other smart individuals, with investors, all with this ability to keep on enabling them to scale and have bigger impact and all in return maintaining their commitment to literacy. And then we're going to have the next group of entrepreneurs are meeting with our literacy lab this year which will be held in the fall.